Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny, and I am going to start a vintage-type journal uh, using this Collier's New Encyclopedia. I think it's really pretty. And um, so I'm going to gather, well, I have been gathering and cutting digis, and I'm just going to show you. So far, what I've gotten, I've got thicker papers, scrap of papers, um, some tape that I made vintage. I have scrap of paper that I printed on the other side, some digitals, real quick lace. So that's what we got here. I just thought I'd show you how I go about that. Then here's like the digitals. They're all different ones. And I've been cutting them out. Some I have dyed. So we have those, we have these digitals, a little postcard. Um, some vintage music paper. And then I used the um, avocado dye that my friend Art gave me and I um, did some dyeing of papers. All these. So I've been dyeing and gathering and cutting all of this, all of this, and then I gathered a few more things like, um, and you know, possible things to use, these newly acquired uh, stickers from Timu. Vintage bingo cards, thick one and paper ones. I've got vintage uh, cards. Here, that could be possible. Uh, paper bags. This is a card. So I've got bags. And I've got some of these vintage stickers that I just got from Timu. I've got some doilies, um, just a little snippet. I recently got these from Timo that they might be pretty to put in the journal. As I got these two from Timo and these. So these are possible things. More stickers from Timu that are in here, vintage-like. I might possibly use these digis if they fit into what I'm doing from my friend Darla. I mean, they're not digis. She just scanned her uh, master board. You know, little bits of stationery and paper. I have vintage post uh, yeah vintage postcards these the gold so I'll use maybe two or three then I have some dyed uh, index cards and a CD case or CD sleeve it's one of my scans scrap of paper and then I have some Graphic 45 Garden Goddess that might be pretty. Not the yellows, but some of these pinks, maybe. They're really pretty. So that's possible. I've got some of this um, decorative mesh 
light, light green from the Dollar Tree. I have this vintage pocket notes. And the paper is real pretty and it's vintage like. There is some writing. I didn't know that really. Well, does that say retreat Wednesday? Morning prayer. Meditation, mass, breakfast. Huh. That's cool. I'll have to read that. Then I got this oriental billhead with blotter. So that's really cool. I don't have a lot of vintage things, but, you know, that's why I'm using some digitals. There's part of a 1908 envelope. Then I have some vintage ladies. I don't remember. I, I know I bought some, then I know Dale gave me some, so I don't... I think maybe Dale gave me these, possibly. So I might put a few of those in there. Let's see what else. So I'm just gathering. Gathering things. Okay, and then I have... See, I didn't know. This is Enterprise Farmer. And um, I think this would be really good for a farm book. Where's a household inventory, inventory orient insurance company? I could maybe put that in there. Don't see the year. It's possible. Um, I might Save this for, well, I could put statement of expenses in there or statement of miscellaneous sales into the journal. So I could do that. It's a big vintage journal. Okay, we've got um, a few more things. Like I have these that I got from Timo, these little paper clips. I've got some of these on the Dollar Tree butterflies. I could add this plate. Oh, this is a really cool locket. I think it opens. Okay, um, some little gems, a few more little bits and bobs, and some new and old. I've got um, pretty little gem stickers and some little chains with things. That might look cool in there. And I've got these from somebody, and they're like little vintage. I'm not sure what they are. They're like kind of glass-like or plastic-coated. Those would be cool. I have some of these little metal pieces that look vintage. I got some of my wax... And I'm going to use this seal with a heart that I got from Timo and the wax also. I gathered some different buttons, some vintage, some not. Various shapes and sizes. Oh, I've got... Cool doily. I've got this beautiful um, vintage piece here. 
It's really pretty. I can't remember where I got it. I may have gotten it uh, from my friend Rhonda. It's really gorgeous. I got, I went to an estate sale and I got a bunch of tatting and it was just like this. I think the lady was going to um, sew them on some handkerchiefs, but I'm going to find a way to use them in a journal. I got um, that doily. It's pretty. And I've just got laces and that's really pretty piece that I can use. And here, here's where the lady um, started to put the trim around it, the tatting. Look at this little hanky. This one with the little rose buds. This one. Possibly. These are all just possibilities. Just some um, piece of like upholstery fabric. Vintage lace. This little vintage hanky. That's his mother. I made this a while back. I have this lace. It's like an ecru color. Off white. I've got these trims, crochet trim, and this lace. Got flowers, possible, and these are really pretty. And maybe these. And then, you no, know, this is probably not going to be the right color. No, but I'm going to get some kind of trim like this. And then the last thing I gathered were some Anna Griffin. They're, uh, let's see, how can you see this? They're like a little floral called Rose Border. So I thought those would be really pretty. Cuddlebug Rose Border. It's long. And then I got this. Look at this gorgeous one. This is Cuddlebug Damask Border. That is so pretty. So I can use that somehow. And I've got to use some of my stamps I don't use. So I thought that looked vintage. Look like book plates. How does it go this way? I'm not sure. Those stamps would be good. I had this little vintage die of the these ladies and the the stamp and the dies. And I got these a long time ago at um, Tuesday morning. These ladies, maybe. And then just different dies. Look at these cool ones. I need to use these. I don't. And then I have this with the um, the umbrella. And look at those fancy ladies. That's pretty. This uh, lady that's got this frame. We could do some bows. I thought these would be pretty for like a bookmark. And this might be pretty. So these are possibilities. It's a pretty um, pocket. And then I got these a long time ago when I thought I'd be making cards. Spellbinders Card Creator. And that looks pretty. Looks vintage. Um, and then this one looks vintage. This would be pretty. So 
that's about it. Um, so that's what I've done so far in um, beginning to make a vintage journal. So next I'll um, have everything sewn in. I think I'll make a um, two signature. So I hope you craft along with me and we'll see you next time. Bye.